Hello everybody, um, we're going to make a video today. We finally got the instruments pretty much calibrated, uh, got some other things taken care of, and people have been requesting we do a video uh, of the aircraft moving and in flight and landing and so forth. So we're going to do a video today. The captain is my son. Jeffrey, I'm just going to be sitting videoing things. Um, if you noticed over on the screen, we now have the waypoints and the airports, which we didn't have before. Very, very minor problem, but being the computer dunce that I am, uh, didn't know how to fix it. Also, the flaps gauge is working but it's not calibrated as the way it should be yet but nevertheless it is working now not being recognized as an airspeed gauge so we're sitting at Sacramento our passengers are loaded in more ways than one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the engine start procedure push back and taxi out on this video and then in part two of the video, uh, we'll have uh, the takeoff will be down to the runway ready to go and take off. <clears throat> so Captain Jeff, uh, let's go ahead and turn on the fuel pump switch is. And those are already on. No, they stay on. That's your um, APU system, okay? And we're also going to tell everybody to get buckled up, okay? And we're going to start, you start whichever one you want to. In this case, it's engine number one. And if you notice down here, the start valves are open. And at about 20%, the fuel lever goes up, lights out, engine is stabilizing. And engine number one is started. Now we're going to do engine number two. The start valves are open, pressure coming up. We'll pan on down here to the throttle quadrant and fuel lever will be coming up and engine number two is started and is stabilized. This switch right here when people are looking at this it says both left and right uh, it has nothing to do with the engine. Uh, we have it on both. Um, okay, looks like we're all set here, and we're going to turn the APU off now, and we're clear for uh, pushing back, and we're going to give five degrees flaps, or flaps five, I should say, and we're pushing back. It's a really warm day here today, which is quite unusual for this time of year. So that little whirring sound that you hear in the background is actually one of the many fans in the major computer that we're using, uh, which is keeping the computer cool. And for pushback, that should be just about right. And we're going to say goodbye to the man and go ahead and request from the tower telling him that we're departing east. And we're using the
old color scheme on the Southwest today. It's called the sand scheme. They're telling us to contact Tower 1 point or 125.7 when ready. And they're telling us to hold short on runway 34 right, which is uh, one of the two runways that Sacramento Tower has, or Sacramento has. Um, and that means we're going to be headed north on takeoff. So we're going to go ahead and taxi out right now. And our radios are set. And away we go out to taxi. And we're clear on the right and the left. So right now um, we're taxiing. Just turn the taxi light on for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to kill the video right here and when we get down ready to take off at the end of the runway we'll start part number two up. We're going to do a three part video. Uh, part number two will be the takeoff and part number three is of course going to be the landing. Hopefully on the right one runway and um, my son Jeff here uh, we did a little practicing a while ago and he was doing real good on his landing so now he's under pressure because we're doing a video so we'll see how things work out there so we'll pick up the video in just a second